Hi. Wow, okay, this is a, a little scary to be over here just looking at everybody. It kind of gives me the same feeling that I got in my high school. Uh, and you're not working. See, this always happens. Okay, this is really not working. I got it. Okay, thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm pretty nervous already. This got me more nervous, so yeah, there you go. But, uh, like, high school can be very, very tough, and I can tell you because uh, I'm doing a PhD, and that's kind of a marker for your high school experience sucked. I mean, everybody over here, I know your high school experience sucked as well. But I went to a special place called Francis Lewis High School in New York, Queens. And that place was downright traumatic, okay? Because early on, you realize that there's a social hierarchy in place, and there's some people who are cooler than others. And I'll tell you how I study this hierarchy as a social network graph. So here, each dot is a person, and each line is a friendship. And you know, in the center, you have your cool kids, you know, the pretty girls with the straight hair, and my mic is falling, and <laughs> kind of a, like, these girls are like the it girls, they have it all. Or, like, kind of like Rufina, if you think about it. Like, she's gonna come up here next, and guys, you're gonna see she's so pretty. It's kind of like, you know, people in the center. Uh, in my school, that was somebody called Jessica Diaz, you know? Like, she was everything, you know? Everybody wanted to be her. And uh, you have to be something big to be there, you know? Something big to be in the center. <laughs> That was Jessica. And it kind of works the same way with guys. So one time, Erica heard from Melanie Morten that Jackie saw that after gym class, Jeffrey had a huge mole on his back. It was super disgusting, but he was still very, very popular. I don't know how it worked out. So, so yeah, that's how network kind of functions. People who are in the center, they get the most attention. Uh, and uh, they have the most ability to kind of influence other people's behavior because if you have more connections with other people, you can get more information and give more information out. And an economist will tell you that information is of prime importance because it helps us make decisions. Um, you guys want to know who I was in this class? That person right there. That was me. I had one friend. Her name was Kathy Zhao. And that girl was downright weird, okay? So Kathy one time told me that she used to drink out of her fishbowl because she liked the flavor. The, the only reason Kathy and I were friends, to be honest, was because we were both Asian, and our parents used to whoop our asses every now and then. And, uh, I mean, immigrant parents will tell you that that's totally normal. And, uh, but actually, network science this is a phenomenon called homophily. So everybody who have similar characteristics in a network kind of tend to stick to each other. So in my classroom, it kind of worked out like this, you know, people who had boobs, people who liked boobs, Jeffrey and Kathy and me. <laughs> well, that's kind of how the hierarchy works out, right? And uh, like high school kind of sucked that way, but that's kind of what life is. But I did get invited to Jessica's party one time, and I was super excited. So I was like, you know, I told my mom I'm gonna be coming home late, so like, don't wait up, I'm out. And I go to Jessica's house, and Jessica walks up to me and she's like, hey Sham, do you want some beer? No, Jessica, uh, we're 14. I like my cola. Well, at least something you have is not completely flat. Damn, Rufino, why you pretty girls gonna be like that all the time? You know, that did not help my self-image growing up. I mean, as it was, I felt like I was super uncool and, you know, everybody just kept making fun of me. And, but the interesting thing that I now know, studying network theory, is that a lot of people feel that way because of a phenomenon called friendship paradox, in which you'll always feel like your friends are cooler than you. So, like Erica, because she was friends with somebody like Jessica, who's definitely more popular, she'll feel that she's less cool. But that only, happening, that only happens because somebody like me, who did not appear in her network at all, who had fewer friends than her, would just not appear. So, the friendship paradox takes place because of a sampling bias. Or, uh, I mean, you know, because you feel that you're less cool than everybody else. Or maybe you were just genuinely less cool because you took pictures like this when you were 13. <laughs> <laughs> so
So yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of what I study as an adult. I uh, go to classrooms uh, all across Germany and uh, I study the social networks of kids in classrooms. And the reason I do this is because it gives me a controlled environment. So what I do is I ask them questions about what they believe about their peers in their network. And something interesting that I find out is that people who are more central tend to overestimate people's beliefs about how much alcohol and cigarettes their peers consume, which is weird, right? Because if you're in the center, you would think that these people would have, have, like, have the ability to make better decisions about, better knowledge about who their peers and what they, what they act like. Because in reality, kids don't spend that much on alcohol. But the people who are in the center have distorted beliefs about this, which is, uh, which is, which is interesting, uh, something interesting that I find in my research. And, um, it's very important that we study these in networks because we're all connected, kind of. So everything in your later life outcomes, such as your savings, your health, which episode of Game of Thrones you like the least, everything is dependent by who you are connected to. And again, like I said, I study these in classrooms because it gives me a controlled environment to study them in a smaller space. Because the real world is really kind of too big, if you think about it. But also, High school is really a world of its own, you know? And uh, I couldn't really be the rock star in the, in the high school world, but I don't know, maybe we can change that, can we? So... Can we have some sound, please? Uh-oh. Maybe get some help. 